hello i am going to do a what's in my changing bag video today i know it's kind of a classic um that everyone wants to see sorry the cat's clambering all over me um so i just thought i'd film it show you what we do uh so a bit of background my daughter is a year old so this is kind of the stuff that you need on an everyday for a one-year-old not what you need for a, for a newborn because it does change quite a lot um there are a couple of bits that aren't in here, like my purse and stuff, because I haven't used this changing bag today, but I will just tell you where I normally keep them anyway. So, if I start off, I'll show you the bag. This is the Sugar Jack Gabby bag. Um, it is really good. It's kind of a tan leather. Got lots of compartments all over it. These bits do close up, and then you can unzip to make the actual sections bigger and then you so it's got just this one long big strap that you can make shorter and longer and then there's two little pouches at the front which again zip to make them bigger this section closes with a popper there's a section here in the actual flap that closes down and then another pouch on the back here as well um, it is a good bag, it's quite pricey, um, we actually got it as a gift and not only was it a gift, it was also half price so I wouldn't actually expect um, somebody to buy me a gift of the full price of this, it is pretty expensive but um, I do really like it. It has scuffed and stuff a little bit and I kind of use um, face wipes to clean it or maybe even baby wipes but generally face wipes because it's quite a nice um, material. And I wanted to maintain it but it, unfortunately there are some bits that I just haven't been able to get off obviously I've been using it pretty much um, on a daily basis for the past year so given that it has lasted quite well but I do really want to get another sorry darling can you not do that I do really want to get another year out of it so on that basis I'm not sure what I think um, there's also a clipped in section inside that you can take out it just pop it just poppers in so the bit with all the pockets in um on the way they sell it to you is that you can use the bag on its own afterwards which you could but not if it gets scuffed up this badly within the first year by the time you're taking the inside out you're probably not gonna it's probably not gonna be in the state anyhow that's probably a bit too much of an intro about the bag itself and i shall get started so um like i said to you there's a main section which pops in and within that main section is um, a zip up pocket on the inside um, and then there are four little internal separate pockets and one big pocket in the middle so if I go through what I've got in those wipes um, we always use these Pampers sensitive wipes when Minnie was tiny she had a little bit of uh, well quite a bad bit of nappy rash um, and I just stopped using uh the the wipes i was using i changed the nappies that i was using i changed the bath wash i was using so i've never actually found out what it was that actually caused it because i didn't isolate anything but since then i've just only ever used the pampers sensitive because they, they were doing the right job and i didn't want to risk her getting nappy rush again so and ever since we've been pretty much fine so that's that um nappies one nappy um again we use pampers these are the baby dry ones they're fine i have had a couple problems with nappy um, a cheap nappy brand on another occasion so again i've just gone back to using pampers because i know that they're fine no other reason than that um they are more expensive so if your child can get away with using a different brand i would um the estes ones are meant to be pretty good so i'm not a pampers snob i just happen to use them because i know that she can cope with them um, we have got in the next pocket is like my bits and pieces type pocket that I like to have so a sun hat obviously it's warm-ish now and this is a bit wishful thinking probably but it's always handy to have just in case you get caught short um, in the winter that would be a woolly hat uh, a muslin because they're just useful for everything even though she's not a bottle drinker now these ones are from ikea and they're actually quite big so they they do as um you know like a sunshade as well to stick over the front of the the push show if you put the hood down and just kind of peg it on it's 
better to use one of these larger ones so that that handy and a bib she can never have too many bibs um, and then in the last of these four big internal pockets I've got a change of clothes so trousers little socks cardi and a top no vest no vest that has got a built-in vest, but I would normally have a spare vest in there anyway, because you don't know what you've got. On. <laughs> Excuse me. So a change of clothes as well. It's always worth having, although we don't really have leaky nappies so much anymore. Sometimes food might get spilt on her or something along those lines. Um, so it's always handy to have something. Um, and then we there are two more internal pockets, little side ones, kind of bottle-shaped ones. And in those I've got This is just a baby bottom butter, so it's not medicated, it's just more of a um, barrier cream than anything I use that as. And eh, um, an empty beaker, because when we go out and about, sometimes she wants a drink and I haven't always brought one filled. Um, so it's always good to have that in there just in case. And then you, you know, you only want a bit of tap water in it. So generally anywhere will help you out. And then there is a zip up bit on the back of it. Uh, and Minnie's got chicken pox at the moment. So this is um, aqueous calamine cream, which we're just popping on to the spots. That is the entire inside section that pops. And then what I do is just down the back of here, it unpops and I keep the, um, this came with it. It's a unfolding um, changing mat. I'm sure you've seen them all before. Um, it's a bit of an odd colour because the inside, both bits of it are white, so you have to constantly, uh, well, cream, so you have to constantly try and clean it, which isn't ideal for um, baby's bottoms, but at least you know it is clean because you have to keep it so clean, so I guess that is a bonus as well. So that's the changing mat that came with it. And also this came, this came with a bag as well, and it's just a waterproof case, so um, sometimes... Sorry, cats are fighting. Um, so sometimes I'll put um, dirty clothes in there or I might put um, a spoon or a drink that's leaking or anything like that. You can just go in there. Sometimes I have a couple of carrier bags in there as well just so you've got a bit of extra space because now that they're a bit bigger, that's actually not that big. Um, so that's all I've got on the inside. When you, if you do take it, I'll show you what the section's like. Um, so it pops out completely. So it's like this, and then those are the little pouches. So it's just the little organizer essentially. And oh yes, it's got this attached to it, this little Percy bit. And in here I keep um, just a few cotton wool pads just in case you ever run out of wipes. It's always handy to just have some cotton wool pads in there because you can just use the warm water and cotton wool pads and some nappy sacks. Um, so that's the inside bit. And then this top section here, so it's the flap that folds over and it's actually got storage in it, which is a really good use of space because often that would go to waste. And I just got a few toys, so I've got this, which is a little uh, newbie teething ring. Just a few wooden blocks for her to build. And this, which she absolutely loves, it's a little golden egg shaker. It's not a baby toy at all, and I do have to keep my eye on her when she's got it, although the seal isn't even visible. Um, it's just, I don't know what it is, I guess it's just an instrument, but it seems a bit weird, weird a bit of a weird adult instrument. But yeah, she loves that. All babies seem to love it. So yeah, get yourself one of those if you can find them. Um, in this egg pocket is where I usually keep my phone and my purse, because um, it's just wide enough. But like I say, I didn't use this bag today, so I haven't got them in there. Um, but what I have got in there are these, which, oh. Oh, and a bit of wrapper. I thought it was a spider. Um, they're just paper bibs, which I picked up when I was at Ikea, but they're really handy to have, just in case. Like, I know I said I've got the bib in there today, but if you do ever get caught short, they're very handy to have. So if you 
find yourself in Ikea, just nab a couple. I'm sure they won't mind. Actually, that's probably a bit naughty. We did pinch, I did pinch a couple and I made my friend go back and get a couple more because they're really handy. And then these two front pockets, so I kind of assigned one to me and one to Minnie. So they're both probably pretty boring. Let's see what we've got in here. Um, antibacterial hand stuff, you can never have enough of that. That's actually running out, so I'll have to get another one. Um, hand cream as well. It's actually, this is a hand and body lotion from Lush. Um, which is a charity pot and I couldn't I bought a couple of them but I couldn't undo them but they said you just push them in your palms don't really know how I managed to not be able to do that but that smells really yummy um, but Spee's lip balm might pop a little bit on now my lips are always quite dry to be honest so that um, Dobby, Dobby, down please. Uh, packet of chewing gum, packet of mints, bit of a wrapper from them, and a repeat prescription for the doctor which has been chewed by the baby. And then the last pocket is Minnie's little pocket. Oh, hang on a minute, I think she's got some money in her pocket. This surely can't be hers. Um, Nelson's teething granules. To be honest, she has still only got one tooth, even at the age of one. And I didn't have to use these, the tooth just popped up. But she did have gastroenteritis at the same time. Um, so I have no idea what she's gonna be like with the next one. So I just take that, because it's hand, they're handy little sachets. So you could always try them out. Um, this, uh, which is a cowpole saline spray. I think this is better than the drops. They just you just squeeze it up there when, when they have a bit of a snuffly nose, and I find that that really helps. Uh, da, 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 some tissues, a receipt for oh Sparks Yard in Arundel. Just getting a little postcard, a miniature Suda cream. And then this, I don't, this is a split open, this is a metanium, um, the nappy rash cream for when they get really, really sore. Um, but yeah, it's split open so it's wrapped in a nappy bag so I don't have metanium all over my entire changing bag. And then, there is some money in here. This is, fa this is massive news. <gasps> quite a lot of money. Well, not quite a lot of money, but enough that I d that's a good one. I didn't realise I had any in there. Two, four, six. 50, 71, 671, happy days. Um, so yeah, that's it. That is the changing bag and what I've got in it. It's a bit of a dull one, to be honest. There's nothing exciting in there, but yeah, I really do like the changing bag. I'm pleased with it. Um, and please do let me know if there's any of these sorts of videos that I can do. And I will try and do them for you. Thank you very much for watching and please do subscribe.